Bunch of Pedal fans. I've already covered the new, new, it's been around a bit, but they added a few more Fender Hammertone pedals and the pedal board and the engine room level eight, the eight out power supply. If you want to watch the whole overview of the board, power supply, pros and cons, and the pedals, some sounds from each, that is a video that's on the channel. Maybe a link below, maybe not. I don't know. Depends on if I remember. But I wanted to single out a few pedals. I'm going to do um, at least four of them to show you kind of my favorites. And um, wasn't the I, I think they were good, but not the biggest fan of the distortion and the metal. They are rat-like with a little bit of fuzz under overtones. Uh, the fuzz was fuzzy. But I think the overdrive is very special, especially for single note lines because it's woolly, it's round, it's bluesy, it's got a beautiful mid push. So we're going to look at the overdrive, which is intelligently named overdrive. It's got a very China pedal vibe in the sense that it is called overdrive. That's what the Chinese usually do. But I love the Hammerschlag optic, the hammer paint look. I love the fender knobs with the uh, one problem that if you want to have it centered, there isn't a line on it. You have to be at five. It's a little, it's one more step to do. Okay, fine. But uh, let's get this down here. So these are centered. This is at zero. We're going to find out why. Generally, good quality when it comes to the actual box. Love the way they feel. On the back, you can open this. If you have a screwdriver, one screw, open it, put the battery inside if you want, or even tweak them inside modulation and whatever you want to do. Great. It's for the money. These are 86 bucks and or 85. And the analog one is 68, which is really good for a pedal, especially with the Fender logo on it. So let's get some sounds. We're going to go into three different amps but simulations uh but actually the best ones on the market right now from, from universal audio the ua effects amp pedals they're fucking ridiculous this is the dream which is a deluxe reverb from 65. <laughs> Great, and it's a great platform for that overdrive. This is an Ibanez AZ 2204, 2202, N. It's the N because it's the more traditional thing sits on the thing. Do I? Oh, it still has the plastic on. I'm going to have to... This has the plastic on. I'm going to have to take that off later. So here we go. <laughs> I always feel like I want a little bit more treble on it, so... You see me cranking the tone up a little bit. Everything top-mounted as a modern pedal should be super nicely rounded off edges. It is a really cool feeling pedal, I gotta say that. You can already hear extremely round, extremely soft and woolly. It's not your aggressive riff pedal. It's your singing bluesy leads pedal. Thank you. 
So you can, I mean, I like it really with a lot of the tone dialed up and it's got beautiful gain, but you can push the mids pre-gain, which will of course result in probably more gain, but also more mids. <laughs> stop playing it's a fun pedal is it for the big riffs don't think so let's get the reverb down no that wooliness that softness big power chords yes But um, those the, the, the more aggressive, yeah, Van Halen -y type, no, 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 no. It's beautiful for leads. So that being said, let's take it into an AC30 and see what happens. Now we got the Ruby from UFX. That is a 63 AC30. We're not really pushing it, but this is what it sounds like clean. <laughs> Let's push it to slightly break up the edge of it. Okay, and now we're gonna get the overdrive driving it. Uh, let's get this pre mid thing more about here. I like the level, the the tone there. Gonna go mid gain about here ish. that brilliant channel on the AC, we have more of the top end. Um, 
harmonizes beautifully with the AC30, especially since the AC30 has that top end that the overdrive, sounds weird, the overdrive from Fender is missing a little bit. So that's a great combination. Now, if we go to a Wooly amp, which is a tweed with a Wooly drive, let's see what happens. So here we got a tweed from Universal Audio, which is called the Woodrow, and I love that thing. In the beginning, I didn't at all, but now I get it. It's just great for pedals. It's almost sawtoothy, almost fuzzy there. So with the tweed and that much wooliness, you get ultra wool. But if that's what you want. That's kind of cool. Leslie, blow this thing up. Now, seriously, guys, 68 bucks. It's well built, top loaded, everything can be operated with a battery. One thing in the back, which is kind of cool. Uh, this is not crap quality in any way. I don't really like the idea that it's just called overdrives. It's not very, very original. Uh, the fender knobs are cool. Wish they had a line on it where the five is, but whatever. But it has a very unique character. It's got this round sweet wooliness. It's not super rock and roll, but it most certainly is singy blues. It's nice lead lines. Um, if you're looking for a pedal that does not the aggression, but the sweetness, the overdrive from the Fender Hammertone line delivers. That's it. Put links below. Use them, please. That helps. To Sweetwater and Toman. So if you buy and either of them, please use them. Thank you, Fender, for commissioning this video. Thank you, Leslie, for switching it. And animals at the end. I had